Hello friends, this is me Anil Ponsani. This video is a special video guys. This is for you who are actually subscribed to my channel. And it's been very long time guys. I have been uploading the videos for you actually. I've been busy with my trainings, busy with all the students guys. And of course a lot of things happened in this time been very much busy in my work as well in the project work as well guys but yeah now i think i find a very good time to come back and concentrate on the people who are looking into my youtube channel and trying to follow me guys so i'm very thankful to you all guys so i want to do uh, something more better than just uploading some random videos from my training classes as you have noticed most of my videos are from my training classes whatever i trade to my batches but this particular videos guys is not for the uh, it's not from my, my training batches guys it's not uh, from my training batches this is specially designed only for you as you are my uh, youtube subscribers guys only for you this particular videos has been uh, developed and it's more of practical guys no theory okay not even a single class of theory guys everything would be every day class every video that i upload guys will be all practicals only and a varieties of practicals okay varieties of practical we will start with simpleness and then we go to the complex level of codings so this will help you if you are new to the mainframe guys it will definitely help you if you have experience but not in a developer maybe you are in support maybe you are in operations maybe you are in testing so yes this will definitely help you and if you are trying to go with an experience resume guys to play three players somebody has taken a proxy call for you and you are still preparing the main trim at the time of you are in the job or you are gonna join a job so that's gonna help a lot of people guys so that's what my assumption is it will really help a lot of things that's i'm sure as well i'm mean, still on a another side i can say let's assume that there are only few people will get help so this particular videos guys i'll put it in a single playlist so that you don't need to search for the content you can just follow the sequence and get them all ready so this particular video playlist guys we will call it as cobalt level okay and this guys in this cobalt level program we will be writing 11 cobalt programs and all these programs are related to a concept of credit card application which is an overview process coding guys we will not write a lot of programs here only 11 programs to elaborate how you need to understand the program part okay and all of them are file related program guys okay all of them every 11 programs contains one file or two files in that or three files also in it and the complexity of these file programs guys are simple to medium level okay simple means easy guys even you can write yourself as well medium means you may need some time to figure it out how to write and you may need some time to fix it properly so simple to medium level programming guys no db2 here in this are all file programs only and it is also simple level file programs guys you can easily catch up okay the one who is completely beginner to the mainframe the beginner to the cobalt coding guys if you have covered some theory knowledge you already have some training you already went into some google you already seen my youtube channels or your friend or your cousin or your brother has already trained you a little bit and you still have to learn practically this is the place where you can start with me by the end of this program uh, 11 coding guys i would expect that you will be able to solve the syntax mistakes which is very primary step that you should be doing as a basic level and it also improves guys okay it also improves the coding skills a little bit to the logical thinking as well the coding method as well now to do this guys you should have a cobalt knowledge already okay you without zero cobalt knowledge guys you cannot directly see these practicals and get more confused okay it's a very simple thing guys without knowing anything about a 
car or a steering or a clutch or a brake, you cannot directly go and start the car and drive guys. So before you do these practicals, you should have a knowledge of what is the COBOL statements are, what is the basic statements that are required for any program, how a loop should be created, what is a file, what is PS file. This kind of basic stuff is required to come to this piece. Okay, so I would expect that you already have that knowledge of basic level and we can go to these particular practicals. In this guys, every class is a practical class. Here and there, I'll show you some notepads. Here and there, I'll show you some kind of Excel sheets. But mostly everything will be file on every data logics will be on file only. Now, apart from this, as a request, guys, please subscribe to the channel. Okay. It's a very good percentage of subscription, guys. I was not expecting that. But generally, I did not see that subscriptions are also very important. I did not know that, guys. I thought, okay, uploading YouTube videos, people will see and I'll get some uh, good, uh, what you say, uh, recognition. But it's not like that. So you need to subscribe, guys. And it won't be disturbing you. Okay, you just click on a subscribe button and you can get the... Uh, what you say videos alerts on a easy way it won't like it will not come and pop up every minute guys only one time it will pop up and then you can just know that there is a new video from this particular program course and if you want to join the full course guys yes every 20 days guys there is a new batch starts and it covers all the modules more than this what i'm showing in the youtube guys so further to that, okay, let's jump guys. Let's jump to the uh, intro part of this course in today. Okay, it's an intro part only. We'll start writing the programs from the next video together. So of the Excel sheet here. These are the 11 programs what we will be building up in this particular course. Okay, so there are 11 simple COBOL programs. So some of them are simple, some of them are medium level guys. So we need four kinds of files. Master file is required, a transaction file. These are all credit card files, guys, okay? The entire uh, module of this course or this particular video setup, guys, is all on the credit card details. So how to go with a file for master file creation, then a transaction file, then to create a bill file, then we have a payment file. So these are the four kinds of files we'll be dealing with and these are the programs that we'll be writing one at a time. Each program has easy level, very easy level, a median level and then we go for a little bit of more than medium level as well. And each tab contains the details, what is the fields you need to take for your example, what is the type you need to take, what is the size you need to take, any kind of details that you need to worry about, sample data, what can be having the second sample data how to output of your first and second file what is the output of third file like this everything is already ready here but what's not ready is the programs we have the entire questions we have the entire sample data here we have the structure as well but what we don't have guys is the programs we need to start from the scratch to build this particular program 11 story so this cobal 11 story will start from setting up the data set guys okay we will do one program in a single video and i'll show you how we do a mistakes how we do a correction of those mistakes how do we think about logic how do we take the variables so there are a lot many things will come but it will take time to prepare all these videos one by one so this is how we get into the system here and we start if you have your mainframe with you guys if you're already having a mainframe set up with you you can use it and you can practically do along with me guys okay yeah, practically you can do along with me as well and if you have any questions you can ping in the uh what do you say the comment part if you don't like guys you can just unsubscribe me if you don't think that this is uh, not important, you can ignore guys. If it is thinking that this is completely time based also, please guys ignore it. Don't worry. Okay. Don't 
uh, you any unnecessary comment guys obviously i can filter them out but yes so the people who are interested guys the people who think that it could be useful you can follow me and you can see what help it can done so as a first step guys i need simple three data sets one for cobol will keep guys one for jcl will keep and one for the load modules so for that i'll be creating three simple data sets here with 3.2 allocate ibm user dot t11 that's what you are we call it as okay let's say team 11 we are all team 11 for now then there is another programs another module guys which we say t21 as well where there will be 21 cobal programs with complex levels but these are only easy level of 11 category guys and then we'll start writing one by one so t11 is my pds so this is my pds i'm creating here and allocate another one for the jcl as well okay one for cobal one for jcl and one for load so i need three data sets for our codes of this thing guys so this is load as well this is load as well done so if i just verify them 3.4 t11 is our team guys okay this is t11 generally one to uh, zero sorry yeah one to zero to nine is my general batches number t11 is our batch guys okay our youtube batch t11 t21 t31 will be increasing the number of programs in each of the module of course guys so this is the starting course so we give the number as t11 the next course will be t21 also guys so we'll increase the number of count of programs more simple to more complex level as well so if i see here these are all three data sets which are all empty there is no code here this we created today okay this is october 4 we just created today and there is no data set at all so the first this is just an intro part guys this is just an intro part what you will be seeing from the next video is start writing program 1 2 3 2 11 programs each program has its own related uh, story to explain every program will make mistakes every program will correct them also guys okay it's like i said at the end of this 11 program guys you should able to at least understand how to solve the problems all the programs are coded live guys okay in the live recording only the programs will be coded one by one the compilation will be done with you the errors will be solved with you and the logics also will be developing with you parallelly guys so we will catch up again in the next video and again before you start seeing these videos from the next program level guys i would really request you please do subscribe to the channel and from there you can see all the videos one by one okay thank you guys